Hi there everyone, my name is Courtney Long and I work for the City of Red Lodge as the Assistant City Planner. So some of um, the things that you might have in your home or you might be using between now and April 30th. Um, so I have a, a bucket that is from um, a honey that we bought and so you can buy this at a local grocery store. It's from a, an apiary in Columbus. And so this bucket um, and this bucket as well, which this one you can purchase, uh, these are great if you are trying to look at things in the water and you, you know, want to take a, a rock out of the creek and put water in here and then you find little bugs under the rock so you can put them in here so that they can continue to swim around and you can get your camera in closer and take photos of um, things that are normally under rocks in the creek that we can't see. One other thing you might have in your home are some plastic or glass jars. So this is a mayonnaise jar, um, so you can use it if you keep the lid. I lost the lid to this one, but if you keep the lid, and we'll use our um, sweet and low packet, we'll pretend it's a, it's a funky little beetle or something. Um, you can take the lid from your jar and just kind of scoop things in. And then if you have a digital SLR camera or even your phone camera could work, you can put it right on top of that jar and now that critter is contained in there and you can photograph it. And so the same goes with, you know, you can use a glass jar. I definitely recommend things that have a little bit of a wider rim so it's easier to, to kind of use it to scoop things in there safely and you can then put your camera over it and photograph uh, whatever is crawling around or flying around inside of there. One of the uh, best methods that I like to use, and I learned this when I was learning how to photograph uh, bumblebees in North Carolina, is uh, spray painting uh, your, your jar. And so you can just take normal spray paint, um, and spray paint the outside of your jar. Sometimes I will take uh, little pieces of measuring tape and glue them to the bottom first and then spray around it. And then I can use this to photograph. And what this uh, white around the jar does is it helps to kind of um, take everything else, you know, out of the picture, any grass or anything, and you can just focus just on what's inside of this jar. And it's a really cool way just to highlight the critter that you have in there. Um, I do have holes in this, so if you, you know, if you collect something and you think it's going to be in there for a little while, um, I would definitely encourage you to make sure that you put holes in your lid. Otherwise, you can just take your photos um, of whatever's in there and then just remove your camera and let whatever fly off or gently dump it back out where you found it and put it back out into nature. And what that measuring tape will do is as you're taking photos of things in the bottom, it then will give uh, the length, you know, more of an idea for the researchers of how large um, that animal actually is. And so that will just be an extra little thing to help out researchers. Some other things that I have that if you wanted to, you could buy or just clear little plastic containers used for collections um, and also cubed magnifiers and so you can usually find these online um, through you know either through Amazon or through any organization that sells um, any uh, things for you to go out and explore so these are little cubed magnifiers and so they have a little magnifying lens on the, on the top of the lid and so you can put your your critter in there and put that over and then it'll magnify so then you can um, see what you have even closer safely in this little container. These do not have breathing holes in them so I encourage you to, to try to look at something quickly and then release it back out into the wild. So that's it. These are just a few of the creative ways that you can get outside and safely look at any critters that might be in your backyard or on public lands, anywhere that you have permission to explore. We really hope you get involved in this event against the City Nature Challenge. And we are competing with um, Boise, Idaho and Bonner County, Idaho in the Northern Rocky Mount Mountain Challenge. So we need you to get involved to help beat Bonner County and Boise, Idaho. See you out there.